Economists at the Commonwealth Bank said today they think there's a 40% chance of another rate hike in either November or December. Now, it's all about the September quarter consumer price index due on October the 25th. CBA's Brains Trust has worked out that for inflation to be within the Reserve Bank's target range by late 2025, as required, the rising core inflation in that quarter needs to have been no higher than 0.9%. If it is, get ready for a rate hike. On a related matter, the Financial Times carried this interesting graph last night showing the shortfalls in economic growth from pre-pandemic forecasts. Now, the US is actually doing better thanks to huge amounts of government spending, while the rest of the world, and especially China and emerging countries, are doing much worse. The FT didn't include Australia, so I put it in. The share market has now gone up six days in a row by a total of 3%, sailing unperturbed through what some are calling another 1973 Yom Kippur War. Investors obviously disagree. Today the banks moved into the driver's seat while energy stocks went backwards because the oil price fell again. Mainly because the New York Times reported that Iran was surprised by the Hamas attack, according to US intelligence sources, which could mean Iran's oil exports won't be sanctioned again. Global share markets all rose and, by the way, Birkenstock listed in New York last night for the first time and had a nasty case of falling arches. And the Australian dollar was steady at 64.2 US cents. And that's finance.